Welcome, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this, the sixth annual Toast of Surrey Business Awards. It's great being gathered here again at the fantastic GLI venue to celebrate all that is great about Surrey business. There are around 60,000 businesses in Surrey, and between them they contribute more to the Exchequer than any other county outside the City of London. Long may that continue. This year we've seen a tremendous increase in the number of companies entering both the Young Business of the Year and the business with up to a million pound revenue categories. And if ever we needed proof that the Surrey economy is thriving, here it is here tonight. So thank you very much for attending tonight. We now get on to the important part of the evening. It's now time for me to step aside and leave you in the hands of what I would demonstrate as a true professional. Simon, thanks very much indeed. So then, our first award of the evening is the Apprenticeship Scheme of the Year Awards, and it's sponsored by the Surrey Herald. And Debbie Thompson will present the award. And the winner is Peer Productions. Hi, I'm Bridie Kennelly. And I'm Heather Smith. And we're two of the 16 apprentices who are currently working and training with Peer Productions. As apprentices, we are at the centre of everything Peer Productions does, and we feel valued and like a vital part of the creative team. Winning this award would mean that that value goes beyond our small charity and into the wider Surrey community. This year, we have established a unique and creative apprenticeship programme. This means that young people from all backgrounds can have access to a really high quality arts training. But this is just the beginning. Over the next five years, Peer Productions intends to expand and develop our training offer in order to ensure that even more young people are able to take their first steps in their careers as artists. Just like we did. Let's move on to the next award. Companies with a turnover of five million pounds, and this award is sponsored by the Surrey Advertiser. To uh, present the award for companies with a turnover of five million pounds is the editorial director of the Surrey Advertiser, Marnie Wilson. There can only be one winner, and this company doesn't know this yet, but they uh, were very, very close last year, um, and school dinners will never, ever be the same again. The winner is Innovate Services. I didn't nominate so much myself, but I wanted to nominate the company and recognise the teams of people that work in our Surrey schools and do such a great job. I think this will be a great testament to what they do every day serving Surrey children. Surrey has the second leading economy to central London, and I think that's a great testament to the businesses that we have in Surrey. I think what we need to do is, is continue to promote ourselves, and we're certainly well supported by our local Chamber of Commerce. The Toast of Surrey Business Award is seen as a very prestigious award in the county and I think that will highlight what we are as a local provider and provide us with more opportunities to provide services to other schools. And our third award of the evening, companies with a turnover of up to £1 million. Uh, this category is sponsored by our friends at the Surrey Chamber of Commerce and the award will be presented by Louise Punter from Surrey Chamber of Commerce. Louise. Our winner this evening, I'm pleased to announce, is Perfect Pitch. Now, if we won this award it would be a wonderful recognition of an incredible four year journey and something the whole team really should be very proud of. We thought it would be a great chance of recognition for the team and also to continually improve the reputation of the telemarketing industry. Uh, the Toast of Surrey is important to us, a great number of our clients are based in Surrey as are our suppliers and we consider ourselves very much part of the Surrey business community. Continued growth, uh, we hope over the next five years, uh, however I'm mindful of continuing to deliver a good standard of service and whatever happens I suspect will remain in the heart of Surrey. The fourth award already, we're now moving. The, uh, the award is sponsored by Ramsack. There can of course only be one winner, let's find out who it is, with Dan May. Dan. The winner of the up to five million category is Goldeye. We're a local business that serves the world with clients in every continent. It would make me very proud to be a Surrey business with a global influence. I believe we've created a unique business with incredibly hard-working staff and I think this award would recognise the hard work that they've put in. It's important to me to be in the awards because all of my staff work in Surrey, most of them live in Surrey and I think the Toast of Surrey Awards recognises the importance of local and global. Business for Goldeye is booming 
This year, we're making a considerable investment in our business, allowing us to create new jobs and employ new people, giving us great growth opportunity. Let's move on to the Creative Industries Award, sponsored by Guildford Borough Council. The award will be presented by Stephen Mansbridge, who's the leader of Guildford Borough Council. I'm very pleased to announce the winner, which is Countryside Telecoms. We won the award, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, it would create, obviously, a lot of PR for our products and services and it would really put our product on a nice high pedestal uh, so more and more customers are aware of our solutions to rural broadband issues. Crucially important to us we part of the Toast Surrey Awards. We are a local business from Guildford in Surrey and we want to demonstrate to 90% of our customers that are from Surrey that we care about local business and we care about their business. In the next five years we'd like to see our company delivering high speed broadband and phone sol line solutions to any location anywhere in the UK but we'd also like to see that we're employing more and more local people from the Surrey area. The category is Director of the Year Award. The sponsors of the Institute of Directors to present the award, Richard Maybury and Janet Preston. I think it's fair to say that uh, it's been a privilege and a pleasure for both Janet and I to be um, involved in the judging team uh, for Director of the Year. And the winner is Gold Eye. Winning this award would really validate that being fair and decent to staff and customers is the right way to create a successful business. It's great being part of the Toast of Surrey Awards because we're a local business with local suppliers and local partners supporting local charities, but we're a company with a global reach. Everywhere I go in Surrey, I see business booming, I see business doing well, and I think the next few years are going to be absolutely fantastic in Surrey. I see considerable growth in my company over the next five years, but one thing's for sure, we'll be firmly rooted in Surrey. Our next category is the International Trade Award sponsored by Surrey Connects. The winner of the International Trade Award is Vision Engineering. We've got a planning application for a new 80,000 square feet factory um, currently with the planners and uh, we would hope that we have built uh, and developed our business in line with um, organic growth. Our next category is the Mental Health Award. It's sponsored by Surrey and Borders Partnership Trust. And I'd now like to invite Richard Greenhouse, Chairman of Surrey and Borders Partnership NHS Foundation Trust to the stage to present the award. There is only one winner tonight, as we know, and that is MMV Sense. Well, we work very closely with the Chambers of Commerce in Surrey and they use our programme to engage with their 1,400 large uh, companies to try and get wellbeing into the workplace. The Toast of Surrey Business Awards are very well known in this area. Many companies are aligned with them uh, and work closely with them and so to be nominated is great but to win the award would be superb and we would be able to work with those Surrey companies more closely. Well, we want to be much bigger, we want to be global if possible, and we want to really embed well-being, um, physical and mental well-being in the workplace. Unfortunately, <laughs> the winners of this category have had, a, uh, have had a breakdown on the way here this evening, which is very, very unfortunate. We wish them, uh, we wish them well, because they've, uh, they've missed a, a good evening. So to accept the awards on their behalf, uh, we're going to have uh, Simon Edgeley, the Regional Managing Director of Trinity Mirror. Our penultimate category is the Social Enterprise Award. The award is sponsored by Get Surrey. From there, Mark Misseldine. The winner of the Social Enterprise Award is... Art House Meath. Be recognised in Surrey as a successful business would be really important to the ethos of Art House Meath. The for our clients to be recognised and taken seriously. So we work with lots of um, adults with learning disabilities and physical disabilities and severe epilepsy 
they often don't get a chance to really show their talents um, and being at Art House this is an opportunity for them to have a sense of purpose uh, and pride in what they do and obviously they would be so overwhelmed and excited to uh, you know receive this accolade and we just want more and more people to know about Art House and more and more people with disabilities to get to experience Art House and be part of it. Final award of the evening, the Young Business of the Year Award. This one's sponsored by the University of Surrey, the Business School. And David Goss is the man with the answer. David. It's probably a good idea that I'm dressed up a bit like a dog's dinner because the winner is Nutriment. It would mean a great deal to a, a small company that's just started out um, to win the Toast of Surrey. It would also be an enormous boost for the staff that have worked uh, so tirelessly over the, over the last seven, eight months to grow it into the success it's been. Um, and it would be great for the customers to see the recognition of a product that they really believe in. We're selling throughout the UK. We've got 75 um, stockists of our products um, and that's growing every day. And we're looking at um, moving into Europe as well. A lot of interest in, in raw food, which is what we produce in Europe. And so hopefully uh, we'll see more of that in the next five years and grow and uh, within the community and, and um, offer more employment opportunities um, at our warehouse in Canada. Congratulations to all the winners and their staff. I've had a good evening. I hope you have had a good evening as well. Let's hear it one more time for the Toast of Surrey Business Awards.